In face-to-face -face conversations, we both hear what is said and see the speaker's lip movements. Our brain processes both hearing and visual data and gives a result. What would happen though if the sound heard and the lip movements didn't match? Would our brain give priority to what it saw or what it heard? Or would it come up with an entirely different result? In 1976, British psychologist Harry McGurk and his assistant John MacDonald conducted a test. They made a video in which a speaker's lip movements and sounds were mismatched. The syllables bar bar were spoken over the lip movements of gar gar. When participants were asked, What did you hear? they answered, Da da. Bar bar. Bar bar. Bar bar. Bar bar. Bar bar. This illusion in which mouth movements are mismatched with the sounds to produce an entirely different effect in the brain of the listener is called the McGurk effect. Let's look at an example. Bar bar. 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 Certain external factors can influence the McGurk effect, including visual distraction, familiarity, and language syllable structure. Some internal factors can also affect the McGurk effect, such as brain injury, Alzheimer's disease, and aphasia. So the McGurk effect can play a role in diagnosing some neurological disorders. Like colors in the Stroop effect, a short video can help shed light on our brain's health. <laughs>